Well, hey folks, today we're going to take a look at Gilmore Guitars. Um, Gilmore Guitars is based out in Red Deer, Alberta. Uh, and I met Dave Gilmore, the uh, chief luthier, uh, designer, builder, I think way back in 2007. Uh, uh, the person I was on the road with at the time, we were booked to play a special Jeans Off house concert. <laughs> and for those of you uh, who have played those shows before, you'll remember how crazy and good times uh, Andy Jeans and his crew put together. So anyways, at the time, I had an endorsement with Godan Guitars. I still do. Uh, and I was specifically playing their AMI Art and Luther Cedar style guitar. Wonderful guitars, you know, cheaply made, uh, affordable. You can bash them up on the road. Uh, they're just fine. Uh, so, but once we finished that show that night, uh, Dave says, you know, I've built guitars. And he actually showed me a couple of guitars he built. And one of those guitars hit me right off the bat. I, I think I played that thing for the rest of the night till four in the morning as we were sitting around having our good times. And I loved it. So we started discussing it. And, and he offered to build a guitar uh, sort of based on the AMI Cedar that I was playing. However, uh, that guitar had a couple of, uh, a co they're not flaws, but it was only 12 frets clear of the body, and I like to have my guitars at 14 frets clear of the body, just for the extra bit for slide, you know. So it's easier for me to get to the high end there. So, so he, he built a 14 fret guitar, but he also uh, made the neck kind of big. I like that sort of baseball bat style neck just be, because of the style that I play, the way I play slide, it's my favorite, my favorite uh, style uh, of neck. So he, uh, so anyways, we carried on with our tour uh, we came back about a year later, maybe less than a year. We were playing the Full Moon Folk Club in Edmonton, uh, Ontario, uh, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And Dave showed up with this guitar. Um, and I actually played it that night. And that's, I usually don't do that. I like to get comfortable with the guitar. But I actually took it up on stage and played it that night. Uh, one thing about I should say about this guitar, uh, I do love the Fishman Rare Earth Humbuckers. Uh, these pickups work very well in, in this small body guitar, whether they are plugged directly into a console, into an amplifier, through a pedal board into an amplifier. It just works. So Dave came into the dressing room that night, presented me with a guitar, and he installed the pickup right on the, on the spot. And I used the guitar for that show that night. And frankly, I haven't put it down since. That was 2008. Now you'll see... The guitar's had a life. You'll see the hole right here. <laughs> That's from me just playing through it night after night after night. The hole beside it, <laughs> well, that's Air Canada. We all know the stories. Not going to go down that, that negative road. Uh, what it does mean is this guitar sounds even better than it did. The way this thing's sort of growing in uh, to itself and with these holes... <laughs> See, that guitar uh, just sounds great. I love the smaller uh, parlor style guitars. I tend to tour with a lot of singer songwriters who, who really like the dreadnought jumbo style guitar. I find the small body guitar is a very good complement um, tonally to the dreadnought. Cuts pretty good, uh, it's not too boomy. It's like any sort of parlor guitar, uh, my favorite style. Dave has nailed it in this one. Um, and he builds all sorts of other wonderful guitars, um, electric guitars. He's got a whole shop out there, and he's doing great things. Dave was a radio personality way back in the day, and he's actually, uh, in 2008, uh, turned this guitar-building hobby into a full-time professional business, and he's doing great things out there. So... Uh, go check them out at gilmoreguitars.net.
I will say I am an endorsee. I love what he does. And I got no problem telling the world that. Just wonderful guitars. Um, easy to talk to. Reach out to Dave anytime. He'll answer any questions you got. Um, and check him out. Uh, like I said, I, I love this guitar. This guitar has appeared on more recordings than I can remember now uh, at this point. It's always just been my go-to. And I got some guitars laying around, but I always, always go back to this one right here. Gilmore Guitars, folks. Check them out. We'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.